All right, I am getting some more stuff planted here in these raised bed gardens. Now I've got this awesome green bean trellis set up. I'm gonna start digging my trench and putting some green beans in here. Gonna do one of my favorite beans of all time, the dragon tongue bean. Some yellow, red, and purple beans. I love to make a three bean salad. It's with the three different color beans and some vinaigrette. And it's just a lovely thing to enjoy on a summer evening. And then in the next bed, we have Chinese red noodle beans from Papa Pepper, some winged bean and snake bean. I think we're gonna get a little crowded in that bed, but I think it's gonna be well worth it. I think it's really important to remember that when you're growing a vegetable garden, that you should always grow things that you use. Green beans we use like crazy. So even though we have the green beans that we planted down in the lower field, we need more up here for fresh eating. And then we can use the ones down in the lower field for canning. And also always try to grow something that's your tried and true. Something that you've grown before that you know is gonna do well and you're gonna be happy with the result. And then I love to add in some fun new experimental types. And for me, the Chinese red noodle bean, snake gourd bean, and the wing bean are definitely new to me and definitely gonna be fun to see what they do. I might be putting a little bit more than I should in the bed, but the compost is going to make sure that it stays full of nutrition. And if I have to, I will supplement with Espoma fertilizer. Like I talked about before, we have this dock coming up through a foot of mulch. So I've got strong man Ryan working on that for me. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> so he's going to take out this dock that's going to be going to seed. Its seed is not going to be viable until it turns brown. So we're getting it before it gets to that point. It is edible. You can harvest the brown seed and make a flower with it. But I have to make sure that we don't have it reseeding in this location. So we are going to be removing all of it. Using a pitchfork. And I'm just loosening it up as best I can. And I'm finding this method is pretty effective so far. And I'm just grabbing it and pulling it up by the roots as much as I can. Because that tap root's what gonna send up more, but I'm just gonna keep at it. Hopefully get all of it. And that root is also medicinal, yellow dock root. No, no, Ryan, not like that. <laughs> so we, we are talking about making a tincture. It's not a medicine that we've had to use or needed, but it's always good to know what those things are. And there are even people that forage the dock leaves and eat them as a salad or in a green juice. So that is something to consider as well. Uh, it's just not something that's ever been very palatable to me, so. We are going to just get this composted because as you know you can never have too much compost all right so i did the dragon tongue beans down the center i did the these are mary's heirloom royalty purple potted bean on this one third on both sides and then the bean beer de rocon court yellow one on this two thirds and on this two thirds I did the red swan bush. So some of these might not need the strings and such, but I am gonna have to add string for some of them for extra support, and we will see how they do. Spring, and I just wanna sing to everything that's moving, every single little thing. To them birds flying free. Got them good and covered over, and now I'm gonna water them in. Flowers and trees, every little bumblebee. I wanna sing. Ooh, ah, mm -hmm. So to make sure I remember what I did here, I did the wing bean on that side, the snake bean on this side, and the Chinese red long in the middle. Now the snake bean is actually a gourd and the wing bean I think is actually closer related to a cucumber. I'm not sure but 
They're not actual true beans. Actually, I don't think it's related to a cucumber either. I'm going to have to look that one up. Um, because the seed was round. And that's definitely not cucumber seed. So, anyway, that's what we got there. And on to the next three beds. Oh my gosh, you guys. I feel like a little kid right now. Dancing in the rain. I don't know if you can hear or see it. It's just starting to drop little raindrops big raindrops actually oh, please let it rain please let it rain we need some good rain it is not even really on the forecast to rain so it probably won't be much but the cloud above us is thick and dark and just giving me a little bit of hope long type gardeners always say if you want it to rain go water your garden yeah, seems about accurate. I can hear the rain. I don't even want to run for shelter. Like, I got to because my seeds in my camera have to, but oh, I already put the seeds in the big camera away, but I just want to touch the rain with my body. Ah, it feels so good. Y'all, it is pouring there. Pouring on my neighbor's yard. We're just getting like a little sprinkle. Come this way, Rain. Come on. Get all my gardens nice and drenched. Come on, doing it. Woo, here it goes. Man, did that feel good. Ryan and I both got a little bit wet enjoyed running to the house it was time for our coffee break anyway we always have an afternoon coffee break and it was time got a little bit of a shower in and now i can finish planting my seeds and i feel rejuvenated all right for the next two or three beds i got lemon squash uh gray zucchini possibly some straight neck if i have room white bush scallop and caserta zucchini some of y'all might think that i'm a little bit crazy for planting such high density in my raised bed but i have a method to my madness the reason why i used such rich good compost is so that i could plant things close together and fit more in these beds than I could if I was out in the field, like in the lower field where we're planting our other stuff. Up here in these raised beds, I plan on every plant touching each other, pretty much. If it gets to the point where it needs more air circulation, I'll just prune off some leaves. It works pretty good for tomatoes, squash, cucumbers, whatever you might be growing can usually handle a little bit of pruning and still continue to grow and produce fruit as long as you're giving it the right nutrition that this compost has. Also something else to keep in mind is I am working with somewhat older seed right now. I have lots of seed in my collection and unfortunately I haven't been gardening as much the last couple of years as I used to due to illness. But now that I'm feeling better, I'm trying to get all the older seed put out first and that way if I do have germination issues, I can go back over and seed with some of our newer seed. So I am seeding extra heavy on some of these, especially when I know that the seed is a little bit older, but I did store them well so they should hopefully all germinate. And if I'm so lucky that they do all germinate, I can definitely go back through and thin them out. So I ended up putting all the lemon squash in that bed, two rows of it, a total of 10 plants. And then on this one, I did five of the white scallop and five of the yellow crookneck, which I'm not sure if that label is going to be correct because some of those have been mislabeled in that set of seed. Now I just need to move my baby nursery out and I can put zucchini in this bed. All of these plants were from Stark Brothers. I don't know if you watched that video of unboxing and how well they are doing is beautiful. Nothing but gorgeous lush growth on everything. Very satisfied. The only thing that looks like it may not have made it are these right here. These are the 
Bristol black raspberry. Everything else looks excellent. So I'm just gonna move them over to the edge where I can keep an eye on them and keep them watered until we're ready to plant them. Most of these are going to be going in an area that has not been prepared yet. We have a fence to move so that the cows won't be able to eat the plants down on us. And once that's done, this will be going in the ground as well. Ryan was able to get all this dock and crabgrass and pokeweed either pulled out or cut down. So it's going to be easier for us to get in there and pick those blackberries soon. All right. Now this cage here, I've got a T-post set in it and I've got a whole wheelbarrow of compost at the bottom of it. I am only going to plant three of these seeds, just three in this trellis because that's what I was told to do and I always try to do what Miss Elsie tells me to do. Well, maybe that's not completely true because she told me to only put two, but I have this thing about odds and evens. I always put odd numbers of things in, never even. I don't know why, it's just weird. Weird little uh, habit I've always had. But they are what she calls vining okra. Now I asked some questions about it because I was like, vining okra, what's that? And I got a few different explanations, but all came back to, well, it's just okra on a vine. So I went to the internet and I found Chinese okra, vining okra, angled gourd, and ridged gourd, all commonly referred to as the same thing. And they're a type of loofah. Who knew? Like I knew that you could eat young loofah, but I had never heard anybody call it vining okra. And I'm super excited to have something like that to add to our meals in the summer because we love okra. So even though we have a ton of okra planted down there, we're gonna have a new delicacy of Asian cuisine and I can't wait to try it. So we're gonna do three seeds here. All right, I got some compost down here to do some cucumbers up these cages. I've got some dollar store pickling cucumber seeds that were really old, very heavily seeded on this one to see if it even comes up. I've got this cucumber on this half and this cucumber on that half and they are Cucumber Market More 76 and Wisconsin Summer Pickling. And then the next chalice I'm doing these two, Armenian and Yamato Extra Long. Alright, all done getting those zucchini squash and beans planted today along with the cucumber down in the lower garden i'm gonna water in these last three beds and then i've got to go make dinner i hope you guys have enjoyed planting with me today come along and watch them grow